feel so real, but how can it be? Not everywhere I go, cameras be. I'm in the low end. I'm sure you've already noticed, but my room looks exactly the same. In the last video, I told you guys by the time you saw that video, things would have already changed. But before you call my cat, that's my shelf, that's my shoe rack, that's my desk. And I know what you're thinking. Why not put all that together before filming this video? Because I have somewhere to be. My flight is in about five hours. Today, I just started packing. I'm pretty much done, but there's no way I'd be able to put all this together, film the result before it's time to leave and before taking another shower because this would definitely make me tired. Okay, now that you guys know that, it's time to get into what this video is really about. You see, I've tasked myself with being consistent on this channel. I've even sacrificed reacting on my second channel to do it. Over here, I can be more creative, so I wanna give it a try. That is not to say I'll be editing this video while I'm out though. But just know, right after this video, you have another one coming. Still gotta get my license too. But all right, we wanna stay consistent, right? We do? I'm hitting you guys with the shoe collection. Taking it back to good old 2018. Damn, it might have been 2017. I think I was in Kansas 2018. Starting off our first pair of shoes, we got Yeezys. You know, the amount of wear I get out of them, I have to call them my favorite shoe in my collection. They're simple. They go with everything. They're comfortable. I got a pair of Crocs I could throw on. I'd rather wear these. Think about that. Think about that. Maybe I'll knock the hoop shoes out the way first. I believe these are Trey Young shoes. I actually do like the colorway and they're pretty unique. Really simple. I can just throw them on. Gift from Cell, by the way. All of my basketball shoes are gifts from Cell. For you guys that don't know, my guy Marcellus Howard, I edit his videos, by the way. Cut me some slack, trying to be consistent on this channel. Some very comfortable New Balance shoes. I really want to say Kawhi. I know Kawhi is with New Balance, but either way, I love both of these. These New Balances in particular, I want to hoop with them a lot more. That color scheme kind of crazy, but I fuck with it. These are the same exact shoes. Now are these the Kawhis? Gonna have to give them to my nephew. I can't fit them. They're just too small. Now with that information, guess who they came from? Correct. All right, actually you already see them, so I'll show you. But to me, these Adidas are very tight. This strap right here sits on the top of the shoe. Horrible idea. This is a case of niggas just trying to be different because the shoes look so much better without them and they're inconvenient. A lot of the times the laces will get caught up in the Velcro. That was frustrating. So then I just took them off and then I realized, hey, they look better off. Very clean pair of shoes. Some of my favorite in my collection, but they don't beat the 700s. Shout out Kanye, bitch. All of my friends did. Give them the coat, put them in the sun truck. As somebody in the fashion, you just be wanting to try shit sometimes. I tried these with a pair of cargos and it brought me back to the middle school days when niggas used to wear cargos with hyperdunks or KDs. And I I kinda liked it, I'm not gonna lie to you. And they're also pretty comfortable. That's all I gotta say about these, cause I'm selling them. Not a fan of these, although I love the attention to detail. You got AI's face at the bottom, wait. There you go. I believe his face is in the sole too. Yeah, the soles are very detailed. Because of the lighting, I'm not gonna show you, but just take my word for it. Survive the answer. Yeah, that's tight, only if you can see it. We got my collection of Mellows. My favorite player is Carmelo Anthony. So even though I call the Mellow Ball Mellow, I do feel some type of way about him having a new nickname and people hearing Mellow and seeing that. But I can't even hold you, these shoes are sexy. They suck though. I sprained my ankles in these. This colorway I'm not that big a fan of. They kind of remind me of Kyrie's and these are different. Those mellows I just showed are the 2.0s. These are the 1.0s. But they remind me of Kyrie's a little bit. Don't get it twisted, they're not as comfortable. Oh, it also came with some laces. But because I don't wear them at all, I just don't use. Selling these by the way. Sell them. I actually like these too. I feel like the Mellow 2.0s and 1.0s, the colorways are always vibrant. I don't know if these are my favorite ones, but they're pretty fun. These are the Rick and Morty's. Morty on this side, right? And then Rick, Morty, Morty, it's me. It's me, Morty. Nah, this I gotta show y'all. It says Wubba Lubba Dub Dub. What is Morty saying? <laughs> hey, it's real though. That's real. Get your shit together. I can't believe I've never seen it. Selling them, by the way, selling them. Mellow shoes are hard in terms of colorway and attention to detail. Performance though, they're just ass. Ain't he injured right now? Not even trying to talk shit. Like, like I sprained my ankles in these. So, I, bro, I feel your pain. Are y'all having fun? I rarely go through my sneakers. The best ones, obviously, I have to save for last to get you to watch the whole vid. But if you made it this far, Comment your favorite anime character. Anime moment, anime character, anime character. Comment your favorite anime character. They're not basketball shoes, but Jordan 1 Lowe's. I got these for my, ew, nigga. Let's just skip that all together. But I got them for my 18th birthday. I thought I could come up with some fits for him. To be honest, I get so cocky. I'll be buying stuff and being like, nigga, I could style that. Here are these, and these, some Giannis's. These two, these, bam. Oh wait, no, I actually like these. These are pretty cool. Guess who I got them from? No. Yes. Oh yeah, see, these are the other New Balances. So like I have to give you a visual representation. These are the same shoes. These seem easier to rock, but with the right fit, these can always look better. In Dokkan terms, physical super easy A Goku Black. And these have to be the tech Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. Why'd I just do y'all like that? Why'd I just tell y'all some shit y'all don't know about? I forgot I had these. Okay, I like these too. These might be the Kawhis. Does Kawhi have a pair of shoes? Cause these are called the two ways. That should just be Kawhi. What's another two way player on New Balance? We calling Jamal Murray good defense? I don't know. 
I think he does wear these actually, so I take that back. Here are the second pair of Hardens. Again, very comfortable shoe. These are the ones that feel heavy to me. Like when I really want to cook a nigga, this is what I throw on. If we want to be one and I wear these, just give up. Unfortunately, I still have shoes to show you. I'm assuming we're halfway through the video at this point, but let's just hurry up and run through it, man. Again, I just want to get all the ass shoes out the way. These were sent to me from Cell. These were for a brand deal. I can't remember the video, but it was sponsored by Reebok. I haven't worn these shoes since, but I feel like I could pull something off with these. And that's where like the fashion nigga and me get to buying stupid shit. I gotta say, I hate this box. Look at this, look at this. Like, come on, look at all that extra space. Now these, I'll give these some screen time because they held me down for a long time. I got these in Kansas, 2018. I use these to play cash. Only thing that's keeping me with these shoes is the sentimental value, which means nothing's keeping me with these shoes. I'm gonna sell those too. The Sour Patch Kid Curries. You got sweet on one tongue and on the other, you got sour. I would show you guys, but I don't feel like making the camera focus again. It's a cool design, but these shoes fucking suck. I done cut my ankle so many times in them. It'll scrape against my ankle and my ankle be bleeding. I think that happened to Flight. There was a video where Flight wore those shoes and he hated them. Flight, nigga. The number one curry lover. Okay, these are another pair of PGs. And if you can see right here, this was starting to rip. This too. Like, look, bruh. I do be frying niggas, but I can't say I'm a hooper. But when I hoop, you know what I'm saying? I run my cakes to the ground. Which is why certain hoop shoes I just don't wear. I actually wore these to prom. Some Calvin Klein heavy steppers. Sprain my ankle in these. Even worse than I did the mellows. This was the very first time I sprained my ankle. It was me, Cell, Kayvon, and Zay. It was a 2v2. There is the footage of me getting my ankle sprained on my channel. You might have posted it too. I can't remember, but... Oh, they're Kyrie fly traps, by the way. These are actually tied to me, but I would never wear them. Fresh Prince of Valor Athletics. They're Adidas as well. You know those pieces, those clothes that you get just to fill out your closet? Because it enhances it. It makes it look good, like you have more variety. That's these Adidas. Never worn them in my life. And then here we have the LeBron 20s. I don't like these at all. Even the sole with like an off green color. Okay, more minty green, but it's so basic. And, and it's 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 fat. Okay, you got Bron Duncan down there. That's the GOAT, so that's tight. Oh, this shit mid. I don't mean to talk down all my shoes. A lot of these I've had for so long, I haven't gone out my way to buy shoes in a long time. These shoes that I've had for like a year and some change, maybe even longer, haven't worn them. Why is that? Cause they're mid. But okay, now we're away from basketball shoes. These right here, cause I'm going back to my shelf. Puma be doing their thing every now and then. They're so chill and comfy. It's almost like a replacement for Vans. They do the same job. These are some world's worst samples. Out here in Sacramento, every third Sunday of the month, they do the expo. And my boy Jamison and his crew is all behind that whole thing and they design these shoes. I love the laces. I like the WW on the side. It reminds me of the up tempos, but it's not as hype. And I like the colorway. This tan is doing a lot of work for the shoes design. Very clean pair of shoes. Waterproof Tims. I've had these since eighth grade. My mom bought them in a size nine. I think I was a size eight in eighth grade. Even though this says size nine, you know Tim's run big. I'm a size 10 and I can fit these perfectly. I graduated in 2020, so that's four years ago. Eight years ago. I've had these for eight years. And honestly, I've made some pretty decent fits out of them. I can't even hold myself. I'm I'm clean with it. These are some Yeezys from my Uncle Rodney. Not the ones he sent last year. These are from a couple years ago. Those are also from my Uncle Rodney. He really loves Adidas. I remember I used to have the... What did they call them, the chicken wraps? Because I had those once upon a time, I can really appreciate how calm these are. And because I showed you these, I might as well show you the other one. Bam. Oh, and this has this. I don't think the other ones do. Too lazy to pull them back out. But my Uncle Rodney gave me these too. If you're watching this, you know I appreciate you. I gotta come out to LA pretty soon, man. He also loves Supreme. He be sending me a bunch of Supreme. Burberry Kicks. I stopped posting for a long time, so I can't assume a lot of you guys are still here. But one of you guys gifted me this and a babe jersey and a notebook and some candles that I still have. This was like two years ago. I was so confused when I got these. I was like, wow, somebody went out their way to send me these. They're so clean, but these some baby daddy steppers and that's not me yet. So I said to say, I just haven't worn them in a long time. Think about selling them. <sighs> I brought all these shoe boxes out. I gotta put them back after this video. That's gonna be so much fun, but we're not done. I have six more pairs of shoes and then I'll just show you some bonus stuff. Pure Money Fours. I wonder how much these are going for now. I've kind of kept mine in decent condition. I still love them. They're like my Air Forces because I don't have any pair of forces and they do the job. What was once upon a time considered my favorite shoe in my collection, the Carmine Sixes. I remember the year I got these. I think I was 16, yeah, my dad got me these in the Royal Blue 12s. Don't ask how much. It's okay though, because it was a great memory. Let me knock both of these out right now. Got the black cements on this side, the Katrina's here. If y'all been here for a long time, you know I got the Katrina's with cash in Kansas. Can't remember how I got these. I gotta say, I prefer the way these fit. This tongue is so fat, for what? It's kind of ugly to me. Then I got some more Jordan Lowe's, some elephant print ones, and then these right here. Guess where they came from? Rhymes with Bell. Yes. That's my sneaker collection, guys. We did it. My flight is at six and it's only 2.20 and I'm not stressing. This is amazing. This is what it's all about right here. Black people timing is so annoying and I'm a part of it because I'd be meaning to do this at this time and then, you know, an hour goes by and black people timing is just procrastination. 
Oh yeah, I have some more shoes to show you. NMDs, I remember when these were like a big deal. They're okay. And then these are some running shoes. I won't tell you who they came from, you'll never know. Some Red Vans, some Hey Dudes. Never heard of this brand until a couple months ago they sent me these. They're very comfortable, like, like I would wear these on the flight, but just not enough swag. Crocs, they were a gift for my lady. She knows what I'm into, so she put the guitar right here, the little namaste Japanese thing right there, camera right there, her initial, and then what is this, yin and yang. She took it a step further and got me these. The Demon Slayer Crocs, Nezuko. I actually had a choice, can you believe that? She was like, which one you want? The Nezuko, the Giyu Tomioka, or the Tanjiro? The, the or the Zenitsu, was it Zenitsu? I don't think it was Giyu. Oh, it was Inosuke. And then I have one more, oh, it's in my bag. I'll show you. Haven't even worn these outside yet because I love them that much. Kakashi Crocs from the Naruto collab. I seen the Sasuke ones, those are hard. I want them. I love the little pouch right here too. I'd be thinking about putting my AirPods in there, but I just can't trust it. Jiraiya made this, right? The little novel he be reading, you got his kunai, you got that nigga in the flesh, you got his Anbu mask, you got another, wait. Cause this is a kunai, right? What is this called? I haven't watched Naruto in so long. Damn, th these are so clean. This didn't come with it though. She bought me this on the side. She also got me here. She know I fought with the kings, like the bean. She got me this too. And then she got me uh, this Jujutsu Kaisen one, which, okay. Gotta wear those on some normal ones, but yeah. Yeah. Yes. F yes. Y'all can't say sh to me. Three videos. I got another one I'm filming right now when I come back from San Diego, because I'm assuming that this video is coming out either when I get back or at least I get to make a decision. If, if not, cut that out. But nigga, I got that. I got my driver's license video I'm finna do. I already have that almost finished. Just gotta take the test now. What else, what else? Man, I just got some other shit in the motherfucking vault and I'm just so happy because I'm seeing consistency. I'm seeing it. It's right there. Actually, no, that was gonna be the end of the video, but I'm just so proud of myself. For years, I have been so inconsistent, and I finally see the light. My dad always tells me, if you enjoy what you do, you never work a day in your life. I genuinely enjoy recording videos and seeing them through. It brings me satisfaction, and I always feel like I can improve, and I'm always proud of the way I edit and articulate my videos. That's why it was always quality over quantity, but why couldn't I do both? I came to the conclusion that I'm just a perfectionist. I'd have a video ready, and it'd end up completely different from what I originally wanted it to be. Not naturally, which is normally fine, but because I overcorrected myself. In the end, you just gotta believe in what you're doing, map the blueprint out, see it all the way through, and then mess with the final product. I feel more reassured and confident in myself to do what I wanna do. Oh yeah, and I got the vid where I gotta get my room together? Y'all niggas not ready. I forgot, hold on. Yet another gift from my Uncle Rodney. He just be giving me shit. This stuff, it, it's so grand, and I appreciate that because he really thinks they're tight. They're just not my style. They call these the Athletics One Basketball. I think it's Fear of God and Adidas. Not a terrible shoe design-wise. I see the quality. I see the fucking quality. There's a whole bunch of quality. There's so much quality, I don't even want to open the box. Rodney, you did your thing. No, I appreciate you for bringing these to me and I'll forever love you. Great uncle. I feel like a terrible nephew, which is crazy because I'm an amazing uncle. So I should know how to be a good nephew to an uncle when I'm a good uncle to a nephew who are also good to me. And that also requires being honest with myself. I don't like these. Okay, actually, like actually, like actually, goodbye. Bitch, I'm fresh to death. I love my fish that it came in a coffin. New threads, new silhouettes. I stepped too heavy, proceed with caution. I was blessed with all these diamonds. I might have them on during a rapture. I might buy a Celine to pull up and fuck up the scene like a terrible actor.